Hello YouTube, it's me again, it's Dominoid, and I've got another unboxing for you. It's a very special unboxing this week though, because I have two very special guests joining me for this week's video. So you might be wondering, what is it that Dominoid has that involves him sitting in the garden? Well, it is one of these. It's a bunny box. So as you can tell, this is not an unboxing for me, it's an unboxing for those cute little fellas over there. We'll start with the packaging. I think they've done quite a nice job with the box. We've got the bunny here who looks very much like he should be in Super Meat Boy. Uh, we've got some cut out cardboard carrots. Om nom nom nom. And there's some ready made bunny holes because anyone who keeps bunnies will know that they do like to chew things, don't you? Let's see, he's having a sniff already. What's in there? They're things that you can eat. Oh, he's chinned it. So. Now he's chinned it, it is his. That's the rule. Would you like to see what's inside? Would you? Do you think the people of YouTube would like to see as well? Okay, someone's excited. Let's go and have a look see what's inside. So, as these two are getting very, very impatient, let's crack this box open and find out what we've got inside. Careful. Sharp thing, guys. Keep away from that. No. Hold this out of their reach for a moment. Put that out of harm's way. So here we go, we've got Bunny Box, thank you for your order. Thank you guys. Thank you. We've included lots of yummy treats, food and toys for your rabbit to enjoy this month. And there's a, uh, a list, there's a list here of various website addresses, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and how to email them. And please share Bunny Box with your friends as we don't want any rabbits to miss out on having their very own Bunny Box. So yeah, uh, www.getbunnybox.com. So first of all, we've got something that you can see these guys are already going loopy for. This is a packet of fenugreek crunchies. Uh, these guys love fenugreek crunchies. This is one of their favorite treats so i can tell already that this is going to go down well yeah oh that's daddy's finger oh you want that one okay cloud cloud there you go i think we can safely say that that makes the cloud and tifa seal of approval i'm going to need to precariously balance these up on the uh, the roof that's just out of shot here because if I do have them in shot then these guys will munch the whole lot and they will get fat. Uh, so what have we got next? We've got dried pear. That's lovely. So it's from the Hay Experts. Uh, you get 50 grams natural food for rabbits and it is literally just some little bits of dried fruit. Now these guys do like fruit so let's see. Oh, I think they like this. You can hear a packet, can't you? Some pear? How do you feel about pear? Quite nice? Yes. Yes, that is apparently very nice. So, yeah, that also meets... That also meets the bunny seal of approval. Next up, and I hear something interesting right now. I've never seen this before. Uh, marigold. So it's 100 grams of marigold. Now, these guys do like to eat flowers. So, this could be interesting. It's marigold is enjoyed by rabbits and other small animals. It is a natural food and high in fibre. So, okay, let's have a look at this. Somebody's very curious already. What's this? Is this, is this nice? What do you think of this? Yeah, I think... I think they like it. So yeah, that's interesting. I've never had marigold before for these guys, but I think... I don't know, they... 
Well, the cloud's a little bit bored by it already, but Tifa seems to like it. The cloud's, the cloud's wandering off to sniff some things. Next up, we've got a nice big herby bag here. And this is 150 grams of natural plantain. Uh, this is ribwort plantain. Plantain is enjoyed by rabbits and other small animals. It is a natural food and high in fibre. We just heard that, guys. But there's some pretty pictures of animals on the packaging there that you can see. So, let's try this one out. Oh, the marigold has gone a little bit uneaten here, so I'll sweep that away. You can finish that later, I'm sure you will. Let's see, what do you think about plantain? How's plantain as a food? Is that nice? I think we can say that plantain's nice as well. Look at that. They're doing their usual trick of eating it like Lady and the Tramp from each other's mouths. We're going to have some more. There's enough for everybody. Don't have to snatch. We've got two items left. We've got a packet of grassy sticks. So it's 100%, no pesticides, a healthy boredom breaking treat. So I think this is literally just uh, some straw. Uh, oh, I've damaged it, taking it out of the packaging here. Okay. Oh, it's that grass that, it's that sort of sticky grass, it feels like. That horrible sort that you always hurt yourself on when you were a kid. Yeah, so I've broken it, taken it out of the packaging. I'll tie this back up and um, we'll let me take it in a second because I think they do want it. There we go. What's this? What's this? No? Well, Tifa's gone back to the marigold. Cloud's, Cloud's just having a bit of an explore now. He's not overly interested in this. No. Anything? No. Okay, well. That one's not a hit with my guys. Every bunny's different. So, your mileage may vary. So, last item we've got then, we have got a grassy ball. And look, we can see, we know these guys are going to like this already because they're jumping up and begging for it. Cloud and Tifa absolutely love these. They've got these on a very regular basis. They're usually made of willow, but it doesn't say what this one's made of. 100% natural. So, don't know what it's made of. I'm going to guess willow because usually it is. Either way, it will be decimated within about three hours. So that's everything. Then we've got four packets of treats. We've got two guys. And I think we can safely say we've also got two very happy bunnies. So I think that went down very well. So overall, first bunny box, yeah, really pleased with that. We'll be getting these again, so you will probably see these two little fellas featuring again. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to be first to see any new videos from me on this channel, which will include future bunny boxes. Until then, though, thank you very much, as always, YouTube, for your time, and I will see you soon. Cheers, YouTube. Uh, well, actually, what I've done is I've clumsily balanced the action cam on top of the viewfinder of the camcorder. Yay! Filter is doomed.